Hey guys, it's me Mia and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to do another flip through book review. So this one is by Jane Davenport. It's her newest book. It's called Marvelous Mermaids. And I have a couple of her other books and I really wanted this one because I love mermaids. So let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you guys hear any loud noises in the background, um, I do live in a rural area and there's a lot of trucks and equipment out and about and they're quite loud. So that's what all those sounds are for. But let's get started. Hmm. I love drawing Marvelous Mermaids. Nice. Hope you guys can see. Oh. And here is Jane Davenport. And here are the table of contents. And there's seven chapters plus the index. What does this say? I was raised in a mermaid circus. Okay. I love this picture right here because one of my favorite things to do is to go to the ocean with my sketchbook and iced coffee and just get inspired. So I love this photo. Okay. Chapter one, Seize the Day. All right. So this first portion is more like, you know, you can do it type of stuff. And dive into a journal. Just encouragement <clears throat> to make art. And I want to put this up close so you guys can see, but... Look at the texture on the mermaid. It's kind of blurry. But I love the texture on her tail. It looks 3D. Okay, at the heart of it all, I want to draw bodies. And this is Jane's heart technique. So basically this is how to draw a mermaid with movement because who wants a stiff mermaid? Mermaids are supposed to flow. Mermaid faces in more detail. I love this one. Mermaid Queens. How to draw eyes. Coral Chorus. This is so cute right here. How to make a turned face. Ladies in waiting. And this is for creating different types of skin tones. And I think, yeah, she says right here, Jane uses matte acrylic paints. I never thought about using matte acrylic paints along with watercolor, but that's what she does. That's something I would like to experiment with. Keep urchin up. Okay. Hmm. I think this should have been next to this one because they're quite similar. Um, this is like, a, I guess would be like a three quarters view. Same as this, except in this one, her face is tilted up. But that's just my opinion.
Okay. This is the one shoulder pose, as you can see right here. How to do that. Step by step. Oh, I love this one. I'm loving all the blues and greens. Okay. The wave face. And I'm not sure what medium she used here, but it just, it appears very soft, almost like chalk. Deck hands. And I like how the mermaid's head is out of proportion with the rest of her body. It just gives her a more whimsical, magical type of vibe. Arms of the ocean. Nice. Mermaid profiles. Okay. These are different types of backgrounds. I love how she doesn't limit her palette to just blues and greens. Like she adds other other colors as well to make her paintings more colorful. Almost like it's inspired by coral reefs. <clears throat> Pardon me. But Jing, she does do a lot of mixed media work. Shorelines. Creating texture. Mermaid hair don't care. I like this one here. Looks like she's having a ball. More of her techniques. Marvelous projects. So these are different projects you can try. Oh, I love this one. This one looks interesting too. It kind of looks like, um, it's not a pop-up book. It's just that the pages get larger as you go through the book. So here's a picture. That's really cool. I would love to try that. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Kind of cute and creepy at the same time. But yep, fascinating. Same with this. Cute and creepy. Now this one looks really cool. Um, she's painting mermaids on rocks. And that's something I would definitely love to try because I do live by the ocean. So that would be cool to paint mermaids on rocks and then just leave them for people to find. Nautilus shell. I love Nautilus shells. These are some more techniques. And one method 
that I know she does is she does cutouts. So she'll paint something, cut it out, and then put it onto another painting, which I really like because it gives the finished project a 3D type of effect. Creative prompts. Hmm. This is watercolor. It's beautiful. Okay. Let me see. I have this book by Jane, and I have her other one. How to make fabulous faces. I think that's the name of it. But I do have this one. Collage sheet. These are like stickers. Lovely. Anyway, you guys, I, I hope you found this book flip through useful. I think this is an awesome book. It really ignites my imagination and inspires me to create my own mermaids. And she's just doing her own thing, her own style, and it's just wonderful. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you next time on Mia's Sketchbook.